Taking a look at the March S&P 500 contract, absolutely awful day for the markets. A big sell-off, down 2.56% on the day. On the lows today, 37.23.25, uh, we're actually down 3.1%, so it came a little bit off the lows to close the day, but not much at all. On the upside, 38.53 even, that was only up about 27 basis points. This is the worst day for the S&P 500 since October 28th and it turns the week lower, so the S&P is now down on the year about seven basis points, so a negative year to start so far with the month of January turning negative. It was a broad-based sell-off. All 11 sectors were down. The advanced decline line was skewed down, so overall it was just an increase off of maybe some speculative excess in other places of the market that caused some liquidation. All we know right now is that the volume was decent. It was actually very large. Even though the buy volume was higher than the low, the sell volume, the advanced decline line was certainly showing that the downside was in charge throughout the day. Now, earnings continue, which could turn it around. So far, we're not seeing that. We've got Apple, Facebook, Twitter, and Tesla all reporting after the bell today. Already, Facebook and Tesla are lower in extended trading. We're waiting on the other ones, so we'll have to see how this continues to play out. We also had treasury, uh, re, tre treasury yields increase. We saw the 10-year note approaching 1% again, so those highs from last week have pretty much been forgotten.